So the governor of Mississippi passed a religious freedom law that allows business owners to deny service to gay, lesbian, transgender, transsexuals if it goes against their religious beliefs in order to serve them. So unfortunately, when I heard this, I was upset and I had a pretty strong emotional reaction to this. Why? Because if someone is gay, lesbian, or trans, it doesn't really matter what anyone thinks about it. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what I think. Because the only thing that matters about these people speaking their truth and being who they are and having the courage to be that and the courage to shine authentic light, the only thing that matters is the law of attraction. <laughs> Unfortunately for Mississippi, the law of attraction trumps their religious freedom law. And that's why the other side asked me to create this video. Because unfortunately, the governor of Mississippi didn't just piss off all the civil rights activists. He pissed off them. And that's never a good idea. Because universal energies rise up to support people in their truth. And unfortunately, all of us answer to a bigger power than judicial laws that are passed. So I felt the obligation to create this video basically educating those business owners on what they can expect if they do actually deny service to the gay and lesbian trans community. Um, the law of attraction states that we are all magnets. Whatever signal we are broadcasting is what we are attracting back to us. Thoughts are energy and emotions are energy. So whatever you're sending out into the universe is what you're attracting onto your path. So if you spend your workday denying service to people and rejecting them for speaking their truth, you're spending your workday casting darkness at people, you're casting judgment, you're casting opinion, and you're throwing that rejection and that lack of acceptance and creating this separatist society on top of someone who's actually just speaking their truth and shining authentic light. So if you spend your workday casting darkness on top of someone's truth and you get into a car accident later that week, the only person you have to blame is yourself because of the law of attraction. You just attracted that car accident onto your path by spending your day casting darkness. Universal energies are a lot more fair than people realize, people. <laughs> I'm telling you from personal experience and my own personal knowledge with the other side. You can't fool the universe. They can see your intentions. So that's where the other side asked me to educate you on that lovely signal that you were broadcasting. How are you casting darkness? Here's the problem. You are claiming that you disagree with these people and their lifestyle. You disagree with their truth. You disagree with the fact that they're homosexual. The problem is, is that you are aligning yourself as a representative for God. You are speaking for God. You're saying, well, God disapproves, disapproves of this lifestyle, so therefore I disapprove of this lifestyle. The problem is, is that God wants nothing to do with you. <laughs> it's, well, basically, that's what this video is about, is I'm the voice of the angelic realm, and what the angelic realm is saying is that your religious beliefs are immoral. What, else, what other word did they use? Guys, remind me. Evil, discriminatory, Rejecting, obviously. And they're accusing you. This is coming straight from the other side, by the way. You guys really pissed him off. Misrepresentation. Because what are you doing? 
by rejecting service to these individuals. You are saying as a representative of the other side, as a representative of God, me and my religious beliefs, I'm rejecting you. Because what I learned about God, he would reject you. So I'm going to channel God. I'm going to channel that rejection because I disapprove of you and there's no love and there's no acceptance to be found here in my heart. So I'm going to reject you. The problem is, is you're giving a voice to the other side when you're doing that. So that's why they asked me to create this video. You're misrepresenting them. So that's a huge no-no. If you're going to speak for them, you better be right and you better make sure you're correct. Because there is nothing, nothing that will attract darkness onto your path like misrepresenting the other side, the good guys, the light, the truth, the angelic realm. So what you're doing in claiming that you're coming from a place of religious beliefs and God this and God that and throwing his name all over the place is that you are betting your karma by speaking for them, right? You are betting your karma on the fact that you're correct. You're betting your karma on the fact that they agree with you. And they had me create this video letting you know they don't agree with you. This is what they think of your religious beliefs. They think your religious beliefs are immoral, evil, discriminatory, and misrepresentation. Some bad news right there. Why? Law of attraction. Because universal energies rise up to support the truth. And what are the gays and the lesbians and the trans, what are they doing? They're speaking their truth. They're speaking their truth. So the truth is the light. And by speaking their truth, they're actually walking towards the light. And by throwing that opinion and that judgment on top of their truth, you're casting darkness. And you're attracting darkness onto your path in the process. So the problem is, is you are actually going against truth. And so that's how you align yourself with darkness. So you might not understand their lifestyle, but you would be better off in taking kind of like a neutral approach to it as opposed to casting judgment and going so far as to deny service. Um, now, another thing that they wanted me to let you guys know is that our truths are from God. Why? Because they're so difficult to speak oftentimes. What can I say? God sometimes has a sick sense of humor. We are all here to grow and evolve as souls. And that soul's growth sometimes most of the time, sucks. Soul's growth sucks. You have to overcome challenges. You have to learn lessons. You have to make mental shifts, emotional shifts. You have to go through pain. Life is going to give you lemons. And you got to try to take those lemons and make lemonade. But part of that is growing and evolving as a soul in the process. So the fact that the gay and lesbian community have come forward and had the courage and bravery to come out of the closet and really speak their truth under pressure of compromise and conformity and discrimination. They know that they're gonna get mud thrown on their windshield. They know that, but they have to drive through that mud and keep going forward because that's their truth. And their truth doesn't just go away. It doesn't just disappear. So that's the difference is that they are growing and evolving as souls by overcoming this sort of opposition and unfortunately this law passing is part of their opposition as part of the challenges they have to overcome for souls growth because we're all here to gain virtues and the virtues that they're gaining from these types of experiences and discriminatory things coming at them is huge they gain self-acceptance self-love courage, perseverance, um, independence, leadership skills. They teach all the people around them unconditional love and acceptance. We are all learning from these people, shining their light. One of the things that really, really got me was when I was watching an episode of I Am Kate the other day. And Caitlyn Jenner said that throughout the entire Olympic Games and how, you know, she won the gold medal and the, you know, the, the Wheaties commercials and everything, you know, she was very happy. She was very happy back then. It was a huge, accomplishment, uh, a huge accomplishment, right? She said that that doesn't even touch how happy she is now. Why? Because she had to travel through this stupid, painful tunnel in order to get to the other side, to be accepted and loved and to shine authentic light and be truly accepted for who she is. That's hard. That's really hard. 
But the fact that she said that nothing touches that happiness that she feels right now from having done that, I want you to ask yourself why. I think that's a really, really good question to pose to people. I want to know why Caitlyn Jenner is the happiest she's ever been right now in her life at age 66. Because the truth doesn't go away. She's 66 years old and she pushed it down and she pushed it down and she pushed it down. And it was like this pot on the stove that just kept bubbling up and bubbling up and bubbling up. Why? Because it's her truth. Her truth doesn't just go away. Her truth is there for a reason. And I have news for you, everybody. Her truth is from them. Why did they give her that truth? Why did they give her such a funky truth? That everyone's going to judge and throw crap on top of and call her a freak and oh, you're a weirdo and oh, I don't understand you, blah, blah, blah. Self-love. Self-love. Self-acceptance. Travel through all that crap that's thrown on your windshield and come out the other end shining. She's a beacon of light. She's a leader. She encourages people to wave their freak flag. Speak your truth no matter what it is. Hey, I talk to dead people. Right? We are all learning unconditional love for one another and allowing each other to walk our paths. It's like that nonconformist exercise that they did in Dead Poets Society where Robin Williams was encouraging everybody to walk with their own particular gait. Why do you want to be like everybody else? You don't. Walk around with your own gait, your own style. Because I think it's important to be your beautiful, unique, authentic self and be proud of that and know that if you grab onto the truth and ride it like sea biscuit that is the true true path to happiness and that is where the law of attraction is going to kick in and universal energies are going to rise up to support you in that truth anything else judgment opinion emotion immoral religious beliefs it's just darkness and it's just falsities and when you align yourself with falsities you align yourself with the dark so I encourage each and every one of you to shine that authentic light and make me proud and in the meantime take care and be well thank you